The ARC is the Advanced Resource Collective. It is our prototype and development facility just south of Seattle. What makes the ARC really unique and special is because it's a full prototype facility outside of our main production facility. And so what that allows us to do is it allows us to kind of slow down, test things, try a bunch of different ideas, and not interrupt production, and not have to worry about timelines or capacity plans towards that end. Because when you're doing prototyping in your main factory, you'll get in the way of production a lot of times, and you'll have to use molders and other operators that might be too busy with production. This way, we kind of have our own little sample room. So so we can kind of slow down, try different ideas, see how that works, really fine tune things, and then work with the factory to like figure out how to make that into a commercialized product because everything we make here isn't gonna be one and done, hand off to the factory, it never is. You're gonna have to really work with them hand in hand to get that final 10% push to get it to commercialization and get it to a final product. The ARC highlights the engineering side, and it's really where we have all our tools, all our processes, and all the people that can run these machines to create new product. This is kind of the engineering lounge, I want to say. We can all get together and really come up with ideas and solutions for things that helps move us forward as a brand. When we're working on new ideas at the ARC, uh, we'll usually work together with the rest of the engineers because all of us come from kind of unique backgrounds in engineering. So there's a lot of collaboration between the engineering groups because we all have that same passion and we're all trying to figure out how we can make it better. And when you're here, you're in kind of like Willy Wonka land of being able to like take this tool, go mold the board with this special little layup and this special little fiber orientation and see how that works. That collaboration is so necessary to expand on the ideas with more thought. It takes about a year to go from start to finish of prototype to a finished board ready for production. And over the course of that year, we're making about 15 to 20 prototypes. That gets on hill with about 10 to 15 different people. There's a lot of people touching each board, a lot of ideas and thoughts going into that development. So at no point are we just handing over a design to the factory and assuming it works. The test lab offers the opportunity for us to test durability at a rate that we wouldn't be able to test it on Hill. And in a lab, it's testing a very specific mechanical durability, whereas when we're testing them, it's more of a real life scenario. But it gives us a good idea on where our targets are and then moving from there, we feel confident in the product that we're putting out there. When we go testing products on Hill, usually it's in-house crew, either from marketing sales or the rest of the engineers. I'll bring out all the prototypes. I'll code them in a way so that we can really relate to each one. So the feedback is a lot more genuine. So I'll try to name them like Alice or Bob and things like that, because the whole idea is to have fun. And like when you're trying to test and you're feeling like a robot, it doesn't feel fun anymore and it loses all that passion and that drive to it. So when we go out testing, we want to have it feel like a regular day on the mountain. We're just really taking that feedback. That's really the only big difference. The passion with everyone involved in Ride comes through in the product because everyone knows the history of snowboarding. They understand like, oh, this board looks like that one that I rode in high school, or this is something that I've always wanted to see in a board. And having that heritage and having that passion through everyone in the team, which just speaks to the end of the product because we all want to make something better. We all know where things were and we want to continue to push forward. And that passion just drives it every day. Working at Ride, being a snowboarder and an engineer, it's just pretty sick. We're trying to create that cool thing that everyone hopefully wants to go out and have fun on. You got an awesome core company that cares about snowboarding. You got a bunch of incredible people that love snowboarding and evolving this product to be as incredible as it can be in the future is just priceless.